Hi, what's up? I think I've got one last part with this battery power, so let me just get it out of the way. I've already explained the dream with the mist and what it meant. Um, the dust will settle, but it has basically settled where the church is concerned because that mist goes down first from heaven and the gas that makes us kind of drowsy gets out of our nostrils first and then everybody else on the ground by collateral benefit um, is then blessed by the church's work to help their own countries come around. I've praised for South Africa and the Lord is not going to allow prayers to be unheard of those people whose prayers are always getting heard. We are the people whose prayers are not a bomb an abomination to Emmanuel. And so God will hear us. But, you know, just like with a grandmother that prays for her grandchildren to get born again, and she dies without seeing it happen, much like what happened with my grandmother. But when those kids themselves are in their middle age, only then repent. Um... I might not live to see my country recovering. No, I will live to see it because the Lord has made it clear that I'm never going to die, that um, in my lifetime, the rapture is going to happen. Okay. Uh, but I might not be able-bodied and still young, if you want to call it that, when South Africa finally becomes the glory that it used to be. It might be another 20, 30 years before it happens. And when that's the case, God is not interested in allowing his children to languish in a country that is bereft with indiscretion. So he will leave you to your reprobate mind. All these things in his especially and also Amalungu that are very complacent. Black people with all of your ancestral worship, white people with all of your complacency, everybody else with all of your indiscretion, your jealousies that are making you saboteurs, he will just leave you. For as long as it takes for you to eventually snap out of the random dangerous state that you're in, and only at the stage when you snap out of it will there then be some kind of efforts, mobilization to fix the country. So we are looking at a few more years of Uklanya followed by rebuilding. So God is not going to let his kids continue to watch a clamorous situation on the ground, something cantankerous that is spinning on the spot, um, defeatist, masochistic, and shooting itself in the foot. He's not going to let his kids... Like gaze upon all that helplessly so unable to live until everybody gets right again until everybody comes back to their senses you will come back to your senses and maybe after I don't know 20 years I might visit South Africa with my 18 or 20 year old kids do you understand but until such time that that day has arrived I've, I've got such little battery power right now that this part is likely going to be just two minutes long uh, until such time that the Lord brings that day on board uh, South Africa and so by right so yes in feeling anti kahagi lo checka mutagasi cause I got to ask you any content phone in a to valid dime in the gibua get a levona go padding in we I've just been told my battery's on ten percent and just as I was looking at ten percent it went to nine so I'm probably sitting on two percent now. Bye. Hi, Hwashe Sakamu Yazwa. It's so hot in here and I won't light the fan because then it gets loud. Yarasa. Uh Yarasa too much. It becomes bad noise for the uh my recording. Anyway, whatever. My content is currently transferring uh and this time at a rate that is acceptable for me to gaze upon. It's not just stranded in one place. So I really hope that my iPhone gets all of the content out that I want it to get out. So that I can use my iPhone to record and not have to worry about losing content because of this Android. Hey, ya boha. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, uh so the previous part Nakibuaka House Africa is under some kind of fire, but I was not trying to talk about South Africa and the apartheid crisis. But it's hard not to when it catches you in the middle. I was watching this one Christian the other day, Ricky from Church Reality Check, and his uh, he was recording a video in the middle of what he imagined to be a safe zone because he got the low shading roster and it just went dark on him. And he was like, Ah, guys, this one was not scheduled, otherwise, I would have planned for there to be a power cut. If anything, I wouldn't have recorded in the middle of a power cut or anticipating a part's gonna a power cut is gonna come. So what can I light the the environment? And his face only was lit like a spotlight on a on a theatrical stage. And I was like, this is South Africa. Why is the government not embarrassed that even YouTubers who are I guess international bodies in and of themselves they are recording the crisis even when they're not busy talking about it, even when they're not they're not busy planning to talk 
about the power cut crisis you end up showing it to the world just what South Africa is like to live in unplanned because power cuts come with or within with or without sorry a, a, a roster anyway power cuts not today topic at the top of my mind and sometimes I talk about this country's but not today. Uh, today, I want to talk about my dreams that God gave me to confirm that he's a Pumalana out of South Africa. And I wanted that to be kind of like the exit conversation that I'm having. You know, get, go out with a bang and a pow. Oh, Lord have mercy. As you get that, to go out with a bang and a pow. I'm a spoiler, hey? A damper. A buzzkill, like the kind of person that tells you what, what what the end of a movie, what happens in the end. Buzzkill, spoiler alert. Anyway, whatever. I just gave you a spoiler alert. Get that, Tazela, because I took grandpa because I've got period pains, but I'm fasting, so there's no food. And so now my body's shaking. And my period pains are getting worse and worse, and it's because I'm not eating with them. So I'm just going through a lot right now. If, anyway, whatever. Moving on. For me, nah. Yeah, cheers, I'm an issue with the Oh, guys, mm. I want to tell you my experience at the mall. I'm not at ease, guys. I'm not at ease right now. This phone is just going to get super duper hot and just die off on me while I'm at the height of telling a very interesting connector to the earlier parts of the conversation before I started ranting about the park crisis in the country. So, if you like, let me just stop recording. Once and for all, until mm-hmm. I can finally record on my iPhone. My iPhone is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's like watching paint dry, transfer content. Hey, she has in guys. So, one later, seriously. So, I'm going to punch you. So, I'm going to my hearing an interesting ride out in the meadows just to try and get some air. Hey, I'm going to just to get some air. A good punch. So, now you got to get all greasy. Now you got to call the AA. That's why the South African Park had crisis is you be, you be trying to take a ride out with a bicycle or your car with its drop top down just to get some air and feel like you know you are blessed to watch the elements to watch the sun set while you drive and then pff, your tire bursts on the road and now you done broken a nail anyway whenever i'll see you in the next part on my iphone